foolish mortals. All right, so we fucking lost an episode. Yay! Goddamn computer just fucking decided to be a piece of shit. Didn't record everything fucking correctly. Or anything, really. There was a shitload of fucking lag, and it was like weirdly like five minutes shorter than it should have been, and... Oh, heavens, it was a... Goddamn mess, I'll tell you what, man. So, uh, we're doing this again? For, I believe, technically the third time, because we died the first time. Yeah, but now we know how to handle it. So... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. What a... What a terrible, terrible experience. Good work, Batzilla. So... <sighs> In the episode that we lost, you discussed the most uh, most awkward thing that has ever happened to you. Mm -hmm. I'd really appreciate it if you could say it again, <laughs> because I thought it was a good story. I want you to share it again so that I can then follow up with my most awkward moment. Okay. Get yourself some pumpkin pie there real quick, though. Yeah. I love, I love pumpkin pie, dude. They really are stacking on the health in this area. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know why they put the front loaded the health so much like at the beginning of the level. Okay, Come so... I mean, I guess it is a wedding. Yeah, I mean, true it makes the, sense. True to the level, here. I guess. So, so, back in when we were playing our uh, Apocalypse. Yes. Bruce we, Willis! Bruce Willis! Jumping off of barrels! Um, <laughs> That's a game I want to finish. <laughs> shit, yeah. We'll get to it. Probably. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> yeah, probably not, actually. It we'll becomes see. less likely with every day since we haven't played it. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. You seem pretty hard set on playing at least Hyper Dimension F2. Yeah, that was like the first thing we played. Well, you know. Anyway, That's mostly for nostalgia. During that uh, playthrough, we were talking about how Chris got kicked out of school. Yeah, I was. Uh, I've worked on a little creative writing project that was a slasher horror thing, and uh -huh. in the book, um, I had used actual Class classmates' yeah. names in it. All with their permission. Yeah, course. this was at the Columbine like time. Well, so. this was well before Columbine, but oh, then really? immediately after Columbine. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Right, right, if you right. want to, if you want the full story, you can go watch the right. the end part of our apocalypse playthrough. So basically, like they thought that you were going to go psycho on your whole class because they found this. Yeah. So <laughs> as part of the uh, requirements for me to rejoin, mod or you know, go back the school. general population. Yeah. Um, I had to go, go get with the herd. Yeah, I had to get analyzed by Shrink, uh -huh. and make sure that I wasn't, you know, a psychopath. Psycho, yeah. Good job, Rami. Yeah. So while I was uh, at this place, I was in the waiting room. Yeah. And um, I don't know. My mom went to go somewhere else. I'm not sure what, but I wound up cornered by and having a detailed discussion with this woman. Uh huh. Who kind of had this muttery, raspy voice uh -huh. to her. And you couldn't understand what the fuck she was saying. I couldn't understand what the fuck she was saying. Right. So, I'm doing that thing you do in social situations where you can't understand yeah. what people are saying. Just nodding and, like, grunting. Yeah, I'm trying to read her body language, and it's basically how I respond to every social situation. Yeah, even but, when you do understand what they're yeah. saying. <laughs> but this time I'm just doing it blind. Yeah. Or hard mode. as it were. Yeah, hard mode. And uh, so she says something, and my response to that was one of those, like, <laughs> right kind of situations. Yeah. And then that was the one she said the first audible thing in the entire conversation. And it was, I'm going to have this baby even if it kills me. <laughs> <laughs> and I had nothing, man. That I, is... I stood there in stunned silence. That is incredibly awkward. Whoa! I feel like that's pretty fucking awkward, dude. It was real awkward. I didn't know what to do about it, so we just kind of stood there awkwardly until I was called out or she was called out. I don't remember which one of us walked away. That is, like, how long would you say it was before you, like, one of you, like, left? God, it felt like a year. Was it, <laughs> was it like, a solid, like, at least, like, five minutes where you're just both standing there awkwardly and quietly? Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah got a lot nice. better. We I don't know, it felt stronger. like a while, but whatever. It's over now. Well, you're free now, yeah. Is it one of those things where, like, you look back on it when you're, like, you know, like, it's, like, late at night and you can't sleep, and you're, like, having one of those awkward, like, cringe memories? Oh, no, because I wasn't the one being awkward. That was just the most <laughs> awkward thing that happened around me. Okay, okay. So it wasn't... You didn't even give a shit. No. 
I did not then, and I do not to this day. Okay. Related note, I'm pretty sure that psychiatrist missed some shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Because <laughs> you're Because I don't care about shit. anything. Yeah. Whatever, man. You know how to fake it good. <laughs> yeah, I do. If anything, that's what I learned during... Shit. Where am I? Everybody's got to fake some shit, man. Every now and then, you got to fake some shit, man. It's like... Okay, I also said in the last episode, I've been watching Freaks and Geeks. And uh, one of the things I like about this show is, first time I've seen it, I've never watched it before, you know, recently. And uh, one of the things I really like about it is they really, uh, they really do a good job of like representing what like being in high school is kind of like in certain ways. Like some of it's still kind of, you know, fake, like, you know, it's a show. Yeah. But every now and then there's some shit that's accurate as fuck. And um, one thing that they Ow. do. Fucker. Well, is there? There's like a scene very early on where they're in like reading class or whatever, and reading they all class. got to choose like what book they were gonna do their reading. If you can keep on. the motherfuckers off me, I can keep his eyes all shut. Right, I got you. I got you. Um, they're doing this like reading assignment, and they each get to like pick their book that they get to do their assignment on, and they all pick you know all these fun books that they really like, and then the teacher like comes out like, "Come get this banana. Come get the banana." Oh, never mind. I guess it's gone. Maybe I grab it. The teacher's like, these books are stupid. You're all wrong. Here's what you should be reading. And then she proceeds to like present this book in like the most boring way possible that she wants everybody to read. And it's like, that's so fucking high school. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that killed you? The damage you had to take killed you? I can't even res you? No. Nope. That's bullshit. Maybe you'll come back when I go in here. Yeah, probably. Okay, good. All right, baby. All right, let me get this food. Yeah, get that food. It's so high school. Like, the way that like en English teachers especially will like, just slaughter any interest you might have in like reading or anything you know like it's like there's a lot of books out there that are really interesting even in like 1980 when the fucking show is set it's yeah. like even the book she was recommending wasn't even that bad but she was just presenting it in such a horrible way it was fucking shitty as hell man okay but it's super true to the way that like schools work like that's how fucking English teachers work it's like like, we were talking before about how my fucking English teacher was obsessed with, uh, like, the Scarlet Letter. And it's like, why why are you making all us read this book? I'm a fucking kid. My favorite things are, like, Pokemon and, like, at the time, like, I don't know, fucking Star Wars or some shit. Fucking World of Warcraft, all these things. It's like, if you want me to be interested in reading, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> yeah. Do you Is, it, is your goal <laughs> to make me interested <laughs> in this? These goblins are going to steal all the money. Well, you know, I don't blame you, because last time, that's totally what I did. <laughs> oh, is that what you did? I thought yeah, the Yeah, you were over there it. fighting all those guys, and I was, like, commenting, like, oh, yeah, you hold those guys off, I'm going to do this side, and while you were doing that, I was just taking all the gold. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hilarious you didn't notice. I did not. There's a new weapon over there. What is that? Oh, shit. All right, we'll find that out in a minute. Some kind of sword. I can't really Some investigate kind of right now. Blood sword. I don't want it. Okay, hold on. Let's mark all these fuckers. And then we'll find out. I'm you saying wiggly is, little son of a bitch! What I'm saying is, man, you know, I don't... Aw, oh, man, the weapon went away. We didn't ever have time to look at it. Bullshit. I did. It was an agility weapon. Oh, okay. Well, fuck it then. I don't need that shit in my life. Yeah, man, me either. But there's, like, you know, it, it's... It's taken me a long time to actually get into reading, and even now it's kind of hard for me to really, like, you know, settle down to read a book. Because, mm -hmm. like, I've got so many bad memories of all these horrendous fucking books that were just terrible. That they really, you know, when I was when I was really, really young, when I was, like, five years old, I really wanted to go to school and, like, learn. Like, I really wanted to actually go to school, meet all these other people, and learn. I wanted to learn to read, like, properly. I wanted to, I was excited as fuck to do all that shit. And then, uh, you know, it doesn't take very long for them to just screw that shit out of you, you know? Yeah. It's like going to Catholic school. You know, you, you really want to believe, but they just beat it out of you, man. <laughs> Not that I've ever been to Catholic school. That's just what I understand from uh, the variety of stand-up comics I've heard talk about Mike it. Mike Birbiglia specifically. That was a Mike Birbiglia joke. Shout out to him. One of my favorite comedians. He is pretty good. He's up there, man. I haven't watched any stand-up in like a long time, actually. Um, I've watched a little bit of it, but it's not, like, it hasn't been very good. At least to me. Netflix has had a bunch of shit up lately. Yeah, like, we watched that Dimitri Martin one, and it was like, I don't know if Dimitri Martin has stopped being funny, or, like, if I'm not interested in Dimitri Martin's style of comedy anymore. Yeah, fair enough. 
which I think is a thing that you said after we watch it. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, I don't know, man. Shit, I'm not immune to fire. Okay, well, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little bit of a debate on that earlier yeah. today. <laughs> How much time do we got in this app? Uh, actually, now would be a good time to kill it. As in, cut the episode? Yeah. Alright, well then, we will cut this Hold after on. we, yeah, uh... let's get all this door-smashing yeah, action just... out of the way. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Big finish. And then next time, I will, uh, talk about uh, my most awkward moment. Sounds like a plan, dude. Which I may or may not have already said on the show. I don't think I have. Eh, if you start worrying about what we have and haven't said on the show, we're just gonna be sitting here quietly for like <laughs> 10 minutes at a time. <laughs>